Hey, it's Ashley Applegate here with Kentucky Welding Institute, and I'm talking to Chris Thomas today, the Agriculture Education Instructor from LaRue County, Kentucky. Chris, what brings you to Kentucky Welding Institute in Flemingsburg this week? I'm uh, here for a Sense Level 1 training with you guys and trying to see how I can implement that in my own program. Okay, so so you've been here all week, so while a lot of the other you know, Ag Ed instructors around the state are, are winding down their year, or maybe they're Christmas shopping or, or, or whatever, you bunch of guys have been in here like sweating it down and welding tell us something new that you've learned this week i've learned a lot i've learned a lot new so just to name one thing would be difficult but uh spray art so there's lots of things that i've never done in my own shop that i think with a few tweaks i could definitely bring that back and make it something that the students can really can really learn from so okay that's one thing so so you know the ascents program is really really plug and play so you mentioned something that you can do aws sense is is multiple process uh, what would be your favorite process? My favorite process, another hard question. Uh, <laughs> I think I would just go ahead and go with the spray, even though I'd never done it before. Uh, the, the type of the type of, and the quality of weld that it did, and the ease of, of being able to set that machine up to, to be able to do that. I think it's something that, that would kind of plug and play pretty easy. Yeah, so since it's gonna allow you to, to, if you're a flex core welder, you can train for that. If you're a stick welder, you can train for that. If you like GMAW, or if you like the TIG, the GTAW. Uh, have you got to try any of those other processes this week? We got to try them all. We got to absolutely try them all. And I think that's what makes these training so special. Sometimes you, I was kind of set on, on uh, the, the stick welding. And after I got here and tried some of these other processes, it's like, ah, it makes it a little bit okay. more difficult. And got to go back to the drawing board to figure out, okay, is that what's right for what we're trying to do? What our area is looking for? Or should I should I switch over to the, the, the spray? And then I think that's right. something that, that we'll work on. So, so AWS Sense program not only does the hands-on, but also has fundamental. So you guys have essentially been students this week. You've had to take every single test that you're now going to require your students to take. How did you feel looking at that from the student side of the Sense testing platform? Well, I can finally say I went through what they have to go through <laughs> so they can quit complaining about, oh, well, you don't have to do it. And like, well, where's your scores at? Hey, I have my scores. Hopefully I'm able to take them back and show them, look, I've already passed this test. You can too. Yeah. So I, I've already been, I don't want to say the guinea pig, but I've already went through the fire and uh, in the classroom and then coming out here to put it to practice. I, I think that's awesome. Now, navigating through through those tests, and, and you were part instructor this week. You got to assign some tests to some of your other classmates, and you were part student. You got, you got to take those tests. Navigating through assigning and taking and all of those different aspects, is SENSE going to be user-friendly for you to implement your program? It was great coming here because at first I was like, I'll never know how I'll do this on my own. But after coming through, taking the test, implementing the test, it, it makes you a whole lot more comfortable. Okay. It makes you a whole lot more comfortable. So, so now we've finished up with fundamentals and we're out here in the shop again. You've chosen your project. Can you just do what you want or, or do you have some parameters, some blueprints you got to read? I'm definitely, definitely reading the blueprints and, and asking questions if I don't, there's something I don't understand or questions I think students might have. So being able to be here and ask those questions with the coupon in hand yeah. helps a lot. It, I, I can see where that would be a lot more difficult over the phone. So I definitely recommend the training right. uh, so that you can really feel comfortable with what you're doing. So big picture wise, how do you think implementation of the SENSE program into LaRue County is going to change the way your students look at welding and the way the employers want those students uh, coming out? Well, hopefully we're actually getting the training that I think the students need. I think they come in with a little sense of, oh, I know how to weld. So I think actually implementing some training, I think, will help take them further career-wise. And then just being able to, to, to go to employers with some actual uh, credentials that they want to continue on after after they leave the school, they can actually get those credentials that they really need to, to be successful in the workplace. And I think uh, getting some of the fundamentals, the symbols, the safety, right. um, I think that will really help them if they decide to, to go on to, to do a little bit of schooling after this. I think that'll really help. Yeah, it, they, you hit the nail right on the head because employers want something tangible. And so when you have AWS, the American Welding Society, since certificate on your resume they know you've went through rigor standards they know that you can weld because you had to prove it to get there so they're more likely to hire someone who's coming from a program like yours or if that student continues their education at a place like Kentucky Welding Institute now they have a better chance of attaining more certified welder card credentials absolutely and I think if they take those steps it seems like they can really really 
kind of fulfill their own dreams. That's right. You know, so we're, we're over 320,000 welders short in America today. And, and there's a lot of instructors like yourself who are you're great welders, but now you've got something that's a, a kind of a crutch to ride on. So the SENSE program is going to allow you to implement, train your welders, and make them what they need to be. Absolutely. And, and I think that's what's exciting. I mean, I, th I think just going through there and going through the process and being able to take that back and really get those kids in the booths and, and, and get them in the classroom and seeing some of this stuff, I just can't wait to see. Can't wait to see uh, how it helps them five years down the road uh, and see where they're at five years down the road so we can really see the impact of, of what, right. we, what we what I did this weekend or this right. week. Yeah, sometimes you, you got to look to, you can't take a measurement of, right now. You've got to see what happens later on. L looking at your, your school's administration, so I, so I know that, you know, they had to send you up here for a week and that sort of thing. How do you think your administration is going to view all right, Chris done this training and now he's implemented. You think they're going to be, be pleased with what your students are accomplishing? Well, I, I mean, I sure hope so. I mean, I sure hope so because because what we're doing, it, it's this to me is one, I don't want to say it's the easiest thing I do that we can go home and apply and the students can go ahead and apply and you can see it as a, as a legitimate career. But I mean, there is direct application of what we're doing. I, I mean, I hope they see that and, and are, are willing to, to, to help with whatever whatever's needed to, to make it work back at school. I mean, I hope they see that. Cause, right. I and mean, there's direct need and, and this is a direct skill, a trade skill that, that's going to make them, could make them if they want to work hard at it. That's right. Make them a living. That's right. Yeah, we definitely need lots of welders uh, in the United States today. So if you're an instructor and, and you want to get involved in the AWS SENSE program, all the instructors are going to have full support from the American Welding Society to implement, build, and continue the curriculum and get their students those level, entry-level welder certifications that they're going to need to get out and hit that workforce running with advantages over all the other places. Reach out to Kentucky Welding Institute. Reach out to the American Welding Society and get involved just like Chris did because he's came here and he's worked hard and the fruit for his labor is going to pay off pretty soon for his students. Thanks for tuning in. Love you, AWS. So hopefully you guys like this video. We'll be putting out more videos on our YouTube channel, so subscribe to that. And also, check out our website. We have links and we also have shop for clothing and a virtual tour. Until next time, see you there.